Today we're going to talk about the different parts of your new trombone. The first part of the instrument we're going to talk about is the bell. The bell is the largest part of the instrument and it's where all the sound comes out of. If you think of the trombone like a sound system, the bell would be like the speaker. The slide is what makes the trombone unique compared to all the other instruments. We move the slide back and forth to create different sounds as we play. The slide is actually made up of two parts. There's the outer slide that you can see, and then if you take the outer slide off, there's two tubes called the inner slide. We've got to be very careful when holding or playing our trombone because any dents or scratches on the slide could affect our ability to play well. At the top of the slide is the slide lock. This mechanism holds the slide in place so that it doesn't fall off. We still need to be careful and hold our slide with our hands all the time and don't trust the slide lock to do its job. Remember, we're trying to make sure that the slide doesn't get any dents or scratches in it, so always hold on to your slide with your hand. The trombone is actually made up of two slides. The main slide moves back and forth so that we can change sounds as we play. On the other end of the trombone is the tuning slide. The tuning slide's job is to make us sound the same as everyone around us. We'll really only move that slide very little once in a while to make sure that we sound the same. It's not something that we're going to move or touch all the time. To make sure that the trombone stays in its shape all the time, the creators of it made these long bars that are called braces, kind of like the braces on your teeth to make the trombone sturdy. Some of these braces will be actually used to hold the trombone. At one point, I'm gonna talk about the brace box, which is this box right here. We'll use this to hold the slide and the trombone correctly. The other brace that we're gonna use a whole bunch to hold the slide is this long brace right here on the bell section. Another important part of the trombone is the lead pipe. The lead pipe is the very beginning of the trombone. If we were to take the trombone apart, the lead pipe would actually be about eight inches long and goes into the inner slide. The lead pipe is eventually where we'll put the mouthpiece. At some points during the class, we may even take our mouthpiece off and I may, we may do breathing exercises through the lead pipe where we don't use the mouthpiece, we just blow directly into the trombone. My personal favorite part of the instrument is called the spit valve. Some directors may call it the water key, but that just doesn't sound nearly as cool to me. When I say spit valve, it's not really spit as much as it is condensation. The trombone, for the most part, will be, a cold, will be cold when you take it out of the case. As you blow through it with your warm air, if you remember from science class, cold things and hot air create condensation. That condensation will collect at the bottom of your slide, and if you leave it in there, it'll start making popping sounds. That's not good, and so we need to get rid of it, which is why the creators of the trombone made the spit valve. Also, the spit valve is a cool name because it makes all the flute and clarinet players scream whenever we say, look out, I'm gonna empty my spit valve. The last piece of the trombone we're gonna talk about is the mouthpiece. If we think about the trombone as a speaker system, the bell would be the speaker, the trombone would be your MP3 player or your CD player. The speaker is important, yes, but the mouthpiece or the CD or MP3 player is where all the action happens. It doesn't matter how good of a speaker you have, if the music you're playing out of that speaker sounds really bad. So when we start playing our instrument, a lot of the things we're gonna do at the beginning will involve just using our mouthpiece so that we can make the best sounds possible. And then we put them in the trombone to make those really good sounds really nice and big for other people to hear. There are three parts to a mouthpiece. The first part is called the rim. You can remember this because it kind of looks like the rim of a volcano. The second part of the mouthpiece is called the cup. You can remember this part because if you look at it carefully, it kind of looks like a cup that you would drink out of. The third part of the mouthpiece is called the shank. This is the part that we put into the lead pipe to put the trombone completely together.